The thought that the universe might be playing tricks is like a strange scene from a mystery film. What if all the knowledge we hold about the beginning of time, the birth of galaxies, and the laws that hold reality together is only a misunderstanding in this vast space? Right now, the James Webb Space Telescope, the greatest eye humanity has ever lifted toward the cosmos, is shaking the very fabric of what we thought was certain. Scientists are stunned, not simply because of glowing galaxies, but because the telescope is revealing contradictions that threaten the order of the scene we believed in. This is not about taking pretty pictures of distant stars or catching cosmic selfies across the darkness. It is about finding galaxies that should not exist in this sky, about discovering stars that are too old to be so young, about seeing structures that are far too organized to have been formed by random chaos. Something feels wrong in this grand scene, or maybe something is finally right. The more we look, the more the universe appears to have hidden its true story from us. For the first time in history, we are starting to read between the lines of the COSMOS. When astronomers turned their gaze into the deepest reaches of the cosmos with James Webb, they expected disorder. They imagined small, fragile, young galaxies struggling to ignite their first stars in the distant scene. But instead, they found colossal behemoths. Galaxies so massive, so well organized, they looked like pages torn from the middle chapters of the cosmic timeline instead of the opening scene. Some of these giants, like the famous Mom Z14, appeared only 280 million years after the Big Bang, which is barely a blink in universal time. Others may even be older, and that defies the entire story of creation. This was not just a surprise, it was a cosmic contradiction. These were not fragile clouds of GAS in the VOID. They were structured, spinning, glowing cities of stars like veterans of a long cosmic war. By all reasoning, they should not exist in this early scene. It was like expecting to find a newborn child but discovering an elder with a beard and wisdom in his eyes. James Webb is not only looking farther into space, it is looking deeper into reality, and what it shows makes our carefully built timeline wobble like a tower of Jenga pieces about to collapse in the ROOM. To explain why galaxies did not fly apart like glitter in the cosmic wind, scientists once created the idea of dark matter. This invisible glue was said to be the silent architect of the cosmos, the unseen hand that kept galaxies together across billions of years in the endless night. It does not shine, does not speak, does not play with light, yet it pulls with its gravity. But now Webb is exposing cracks in this belief. If dark matter was meant to slowly shepherd galaxies into shape, then how do we explain fully formed galactic giants only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang? They did not crawl into existence, they leapt forward in the grand scene, skipping the baby steps and entering adulthood at once. Either dark matter behaves in ways that we still do not understand, or worse, perhaps it does not exist the way we imagined. The telescope is no longer just observing space, it is interrogating the very foundation of cosmology in this infinite theater. And suddenly, dark matter is looking less like a savior and more like a suspect in this mysterious play. In physics, we hold on to constants, fixed numbers that help us predict, measure, and build our understanding of how the cosmos behaves in its vast stage. But now, two critical ones, the S8 and the Hubble constant, are shaking the story. When scientists looked at the early universe through the cosmic microwave background, they got one value for how clumpy matter should be across the cosmic scene. Yet, when they measured today's universe, the value disagreed. That is the S8 tension. It is like measuring a child's height at age 5, then again at age 20 and realizing the numbers no longer match the expected chart. The Hubble constant, which tells us how fast the universe is expanding in this great scene, is also misbehaving. Depending on whether we measure it in the past or the present, the numbers refuse to agree. This is not a small rounding error. The more data Webb gives us, the clearer it becomes. The universe is telling two different stories. 
As Webb reveals galaxies and structures never imagined before, another strange question rises in the field of physics, one tied not just to space, but to the act of observation itself. Quantum mechanics whispers that particles act differently when observed, like actors changing their lines once someone enters the room. Now Webb is detecting light that has traveled billions of years through spacetime to reach our eyes. But the unsettling part is this. Those photons may only choose their path when they meet our detectors. Until then, the universe remains in a shadowy state of probability, like an unwritten scene waiting for a reader. This means the telescope is not just revealing the cosmos, it is collapsing it into reality. That is the mind-bending power of observation. Some physicists now argue that the universe may not even be fully real until it is observed, like a stage left in darkness until a spotlight shines. If so, then Webb is not just a viewer, it is an activator in the PLAY. What if the universe becomes more real the deeper we look? And what if some corners of it resist the spotlight of our cosmic gaze? In its deepest scans, James Webb has noticed something disturbing. A faint boundary where light dims unnaturally fast, as if colliding with a wall in the endless scene. This is not the fault of our technology, nor is it due to cosmic dust floating in the VOID. Something else is happening. Beyond that point, redshifts do not match our models. Some whisper of a cosmological horizon, while others suggest something far stranger, that we are hitting an artificial limit, as though reality itself were programmed with edges. Could it be that we are inside a vast simulation, a chamber of controlled spacetime built like a stage? One physicist even described Webb's scans as bumping into the edges of the CODE. It is outrageous, but what if true? What if the discovery of James Webb is not a galaxy or nebula, but the edge of the rendered world? We built the James Webb Space Telescope to answer our deepest questions, to reveal what had been unseen, to map the early universe like an archaeologist unearthing the bones of TIME in the buried scene. But perhaps its true purpose was not to hand us answers, but to awaken more powerful questions. Because every image it sends is not simply a view of the cosmos, it is a challenge to our very sanity. Galaxies that should not exist. Stars older than time. Structures too ordered to be random. Boundaries that behave like walls. Silence beyond the edge that feels like design rather than emptiness. What if the universe is not an accident, but a system? What if James Webb is the first eye that has truly glimpsed the gears beneath the surface of space? And what if the most frightening discovery is not that we have found too much, but that something out there now knows we are watching? Imagine the scene. We gaze into the void, and the void gazes back. Do you believe the telescope is merely revealing space, or is it unraveling reality itself? The scene invites us to ask whether the universe is expanding, or whether it is responding to us, shaping itself as we dare to look deeper. If this discovery stunned you, share this story, because people need to realize that the universe may not just be unfolding, it may be reacting. Think of the scene of a cosmic play. We sit in the audience, and with each deeper observation, the curtains pull back, not on chaos, but on something deliberate, designed, and may be alive in its own way. James Webb is not just a telescope, it is a mirror showing us how little we know, and how fragile our certainty has been in this immense stage of stars. The unsettling thought remains. Every time Webb peers farther, it risks uncovering something we were never meant to see. Perhaps reality has been carefully arranged like a set on a stage, with props placed where our eyes can reach. Perhaps beyond those faint walls of light, there is nothing, or worse, something watching from the other side of the curtain. And if so, then the scene we call the universe is both the most beautiful and the most terrifying performance ever staged. For all our confidence, we must face the truth. We do not know if the Big Bang happened the way we imagined. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.